What's up YouTube, it's Rick G and I am back with another video for you. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning in today. Uh, this is the wrap up video of the, of the change bag that I had just received. Uh, what I found in, in the end, uh, my first count on the quarters, dimes, nickels, and dollar coins, I had $232 out of that bag after going through it, uh, taking what I was going to take out of each uh, denomination and dumping the rest I ended up with uh, $233.45 so if the penny count from the original count was correct uh, that's $1.45 plus the 17 cents is $1.62 on the bag that I made so that's profit $1.62 is only $1.62 but $1.62 is better in the in the plus than in the minus so that being said uh, I'm going to show you what all I found. Uh, we ended up with uh, three bicentennial quarters. I always keep those out because I don't really find them very often. Like with the half dollars, I find a lot of them. But with these quarters, uh, I don't find very many. Plus, there's a double die obverse on uh, a bicentennial, so I always check those. Of course, I found this Popeye uh, Universal Studios coin. Uh, it was it was a penny at one time uh, 19 uh, what did it say 79 it was a 1979 so it was put through one of the machines and uh, smashed out to be a uh, Popeye so I'll keep that uh, I found six ended up finding six Canadians uh, this nickel this dime a couple pennies uh, the, the by way of nickels I found a couple 1948s a D and a plane, so a D, a Denver and a Philadelphia mint, and then I also find found this 1959 plane date. So that's a Philly minted, and uh, the original count on the uh, on the wheat cents here was 10. Uh, after I went through the pennies, I did find two more. I can't remember. I think I found another 1945 right here. Uh, I'm, I'm not for sure, but the find of the wheat pennies that uh, slipped past me on the initial count was this one right here, 1943 wheat cent. Yes, it is a steel cent. I'd love to find a 1943 copper in one of these bags. That would be great, but uh, this is a steel cent. I like finding steel cents uh, because they're just still out there, you know. Uh, of course, we already knew that I found the... Uh, the nickel that was uh, 1943p war nickel and this 1953d mint mark dime so silver dime silver nickel a steel cent we end up with 12 wheat cents which is pretty good because I only ended up with uh, 23 something in pennies so that's less than a box and I ended up with 12 wheat cents uh, so uh, you know that that if it were a box, 12 wheat cents in a box is pretty good. But anyway, uh, so that's the that's the wrap up to that video uh, of the one that I just posted. I feel like this was a good bag. In fact, I went back to the place that I get um, these bags from, and I have another bag. That being said, I'm going to post this video. And then I'm going to get into this bag right here. I'm going to start sorting it and see what I can find. But if I can come up with, you know, a steel cent, a silver dime, and a silver nickel, that'd be great. Uh, so I appreciate you viewing the video. If you're not subscribed, uh, subscribe. Hit the notification button. I always uh, uh, put up videos regularly every week. Uh, leave a comment down below. I need you to leave a comment down below apparently that helps I'm not big on this technology thing I haven't really uh, got into I mean I was never planning on doing videos that's another thing I never planned on doing videos uh, a couple channels that I watch regularly they said man you're really getting hitting good finds man won't you won't you put a couple videos up so I started putting videos and now I'm hooked I'm addicted to coins searching and I'm addicted to YouTube videos uh, that being said uh, if you, you leave a comment, more interaction with my channel, puts my videos up in front of more people, I get more subscribers, I get more views, and you know you know this you know the spiel. So 
leave a comment down below tell me what you think about these bags uh, about the fines and until next time good luck to you and I hope that you profit on all your searches